Okay, so your dental appointment is coming up. Time to sit in a chair for an hour only to get your gums poked at, teeth scraped, and someone to tell you to take better care of your teeth. Sounds exciting, right? Uh, maybe not. But look on the bright side. At least you get a goodie bag. Okay, so going to the dentist probably isn't your favorite thing in the world. But what if I told you there's a way to make your dental visits more enjoyable? You might say, I'm crazy, or that's impossible. Well, it's not. All you have to do is change your perspective. Instead of thinking, oh no, my dental appointment is coming up, do I have to go? Try thinking of it as an opportunity to better your oral health. Okay, I know that sounded lame, but you should try to get the most out of each visit. I mean, you already have to be there, so you might as well take advantage of it. Plus, you have people there who are pretty knowledgeable, and they can answer some of the questions you have. And the more you learn, the more you'll know about why certain things are happening in your mouth. Like, if you always have sensitivity in one tooth, it could just be because you're brushing too hard in that area. So what are some good questions to ask your dentist? Well, here are five questions you should ask at your next dental appointment. Question number one, am I missing any areas? Usually your dentist can tell if there are any areas in your mouth you aren't cleaning as well. Sometimes they'll see inflammation in your gums or one area with more plaque than normal, and they can tell you how to fix it. For example, they might tell you to start angling your toothbrush toward your gum line more, or tell you to start flossing better in one area. Your dentist might tell you this stuff anyway, but there's no harm in asking. Question number two, how do my gums look? Your dentist doesn't just check your teeth during your visits. Your gum health is checked as well. Your dentist will probably tell you if anything major is going on, but most of the time there are little things you can improve on. You'd be surprised, like you might find out your gums are receding a little bit because you're brushing too hard, but you'd never know if you don't ask. Question number three, does it look like there's a cavity forming anywhere? Even if your dentist doesn't find a cavity in your mouth, it doesn't mean you can't get one in the future. Sometimes dentists like to watch a tooth over time. Not because there's a cavity, but because it looks suspicious. This can happen for a couple different reasons. For example, an x-ray can show that a cavity is forming, but it doesn't really need a filling yet. If this is caught early enough, it can actually be reversed, meaning you wouldn't need a filling in the first place. Question number four. How does my diet affect my teeth? This is a good question because there's a lot of things involved in your diet that you might not realize affect your teeth. Your diet is one of the biggest contributors to getting cavities and gum disease. And it's not always what you eat, it's also how you eat that matters. So next time you're at the dentist, ask if you can quickly go over your diet together. Question number five, does it look like I grind my teeth? If you've ever woken up with jaw pain or a headache or noticed that your teeth feel sensitive, you might be grinding your teeth when you sleep. Teeth grinding, otherwise known as bruxism, is a common problem and it's usually induced by stress. This is a good question to ask because most people don't realize that they grind their teeth and your dentist can check for any signs of grinding and take the steps to prevent it from getting any worse. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new dental secrets every week.